I am Dr. Shivraj. I am a consultant pulmonologist uh, working in Columbia Asia Hospital, Whitefield. Bronchiectasis is nothing but there is the multiple holes, the bronchus which has become dilated, which is irreversible, it is a permanent damage. So this again are caused by the many times because of the infection. If the infection is not treated properly or many times it is because of the tuberculosis, post tubercular bronchiectasis and some people it is because in terms of the congenital, there are some deficiencies also can cause this one. Many times the 365 days the bronchiectasis patients will be having the cough, frequent cough and many times they will be having so the wet cough means they used to spit out the phlegm. So what will happen in the throughout the night when they lie down there is a secretion, the pooling of the secretion in that cavities or the holes. When they once they get up in the morning so they will keep on spitting the phlegm. So instead of that one what we used to suggest is like always we used to tell them to do some sort of their postural dryness. Postural dryness in the once they get up in the morning there are some uh, techniques are there. So that with the techniques you can able to take out the phlegm. So you are, every day morning around 10, 5 to 10 minutes if you remove that phlegm the whole the day is uh, expectation will be definitely less. And also usually because the underlying lungs are weak there are more prone to catch some secondary infection. To prevent that infection always we insist them to go for the vaccination. Vaccination can prevent and also there are scars sometimes if the patients are getting too frequent infection used to give some prophylaxis antibiotic. Other than that healthy lifestyle and plenty of water and all these things are really good for the people having the bronchiectasis and mainly thing is if he is a smoker he had to stop the smoking.